Hi guys, it's Dave from What's Brew UK. Uh, bringing you another a video. This time we're going to do a take on the um, video that we did before, where we did the uh, blueberries and gin. Uh, this time we're going to do it with cherries and vodka. So let's have a look what we've got. Right, so basically we've got the uh, the kiln jar. Yeah. Which has been sterilised, ready for use. Um, you can pick these up from sort of hardware stores, different sizes. I got this size because it's uh, nice and handy. I think I'll probably get some smaller ones at some point. But um, I think I got this from IKEA. It cost a couple of quid, uh, and I got four of them. So. Uh, Gonna make some nice Christmas brews with these ones. Um, I've got uh, my bowl of cherries. Obviously, I'm gonna destalk them. I'm not gonna bother taking the pips out because it really isn't uh, important. Um, they've been cleaned, so they're ready for action. And there's about 500, just over 500 grams of uh, cherries. And what we've decided to do this time is half. Uh, the weight of the uh, berry so because these are over 500 grams we're going to put about 250 grams of sugar uh, in there and then with that we've just went out and bought the cheapest vodka we will get which uh, I think this was about 8 quid 8 pound for 70 CLs which works out about 700 millilitres so because these are the well one of the largest bottles you can get as a standard size here in the UK you might want to sort of work it out um, you know if you're using more than this but uh, I'm using like I say 700 uh, millilitres of vodka 250 sugar and 500 just over 500 cherries but remember um, although it's 500 grams worth of cherries obviously the stones make up quite a weight so you know but that's what I'm going off and uh, I was going to try sort of getting some brandy and making my own cherry brandy but I thought why not a bit cherry vodka uh, all these are going to take about three months um, once it's all been made and put in the jar um, to sort of do the magic and then in three months time we'll keep the bottle, the empty bottle and what we'll do is we'll filter everything back from here so all the lumps and stuff stay in there uh, and all the juices, nice clear juices will go back in the bottle and that can be sealed up and put away for Christmas obviously we'll have to do a taste test but there you go so the first thing to do is we'll start, um, I'm going to start um, getting the, uh, the ends off these cherries and I'm going to slice them with a knife, pop them in there and uh, it's going to take us quite a while to run through all this one so let's do some magic. Right so I've done the cherries, got my last two to do so I'm going to show you how I do them. Do it pretty easy really. Just get the stalk, pull it off and do what I did with the other berries. Just give them a stab. Straight in the jar. The stalk. Stab. And then straight in the jar. Right. Turn down our sugar. Right, so here's the killer jar full of me cherries. I pop my cherry. And it's time to add the sugar, so put the camera down. Hopefully get a good angle on this one. There we go. So this is uh, 250 grams of sugar. Cool. 
Christmassy does that look? There we go. And now it's time to add the 700 millilitres of vodka. So we'll open it. Whew, that smells strong. And here we go. That bottle's going to be kept because once this is finished doing its magic, it'll um, it'll have to be rebottled, so it's going to be put back in the bottle. So there'll still be 700 millilitres, but obviously it's going to go back in there. We'll keep that bottle. Put the top on. Magic, and then we'll put the lid on this one. Like so, and then we'll uh, give it a shake. And we'll have to give this a shake like this every day for a month, and then after a month, it'll just be once a month. So it's until it's been in there for about three months all together and uh, hopefully all that sugar will uh, mix in with the vodka I've had this before it goes quite thick but it's a very nice drink so yeah hopefully in a few days time we'll come back and that'll be a nice red colour. So uh, there we go. Cherry vodka. Another one for Christmas. I think we're all going to be quite drunk this Christmas. Oh yes. Cheers people. 17.